Scientists are warning that rising sea temperatures in far north Queensland are prolonging the stinger season and dangerous jellyfish are moving south. The deadly Irukandji has already been discovered near Fraser Island and experts believe it's only a matter of time before it and the box jellyfish reach the Sunshine Coast. These deadly box jellyfish inhabit tropical waters during the warmer months. The seas in winter are usually stinger free, but could that be about to change? The length of the season is progressively getting longer and longer and longer and we think that's driven by these increased water temperatures. Professor Jamie Seymour has been studying stingers for more than two decades. He says the high risk stinger season has gone from just two months 50 years ago to more than half a year now. You look at what we've got now, the season still starts in early November but it runs all the way through now to May to June. And if you look at the times in between, there's a beautiful correlation with increasing water temperatures and increasing length of the stinger season. If the trends go that it's going to be longer and longer, yeah, it means that potentially nets could be staying in for longer. It means that we're actually dragging for longer throughout the year. Researchers say warmer sea temperatures are also driving Irukandji and box jellyfish further south. We already have Irukandji on the tip of Fraser Island. It's just a matter of time as to when they get further down there and you get them onto places like the Sunshine Coast, then not only does it change what they do there, but it then becomes a problem not just for the north, but for the whole of Queensland. The state's lucrative tourism industry says it's not too concerned yet. And I think a lot more work has to take place there for us to understand what is happening, what is the incident, how serious is this, where are the risks. Hoping not to feel the sting anytime soon. Jessica Nairn, ABC News, Townsville.